Right, I just want to show you guys my off-grid solar battery setup. I got four panels, uh, four 100 watt panels hooked up in parallel and it comes through the floor right through these guys and then that comes up to my 30 amp charge controller. I only got about nine amps going into it right now and then uh, that feeds my two 155 amp hour batteries so a total of 310 amp hours about a little, little over four kilowatt hours I believe and I'm using a 12 volt system so they're 12 volt panels and then I'm just using uh, these 12 volt outlets I got one right here I got another right here um, a couple other throughout the cabin and uh, so that just lets you use your like cigarette lighter chargers to charge your phones and tablets and then uh, I have a small in inverter for really small appliances that I use to charge my um, charge my power tools and uh, I just use the the cigarette lighter adapter um, plug for that and then the, real, the only real inverter I'm using is is this 400 watt Duracell inverter and that powers the my 80 watt mini fridge one thing I kind of messed up at first was I only had a uh, 150 watt inverter to start to try to power this fridge because I thought it'd be sufficient because it's an 80 watt fridge but it actually has like a, a surge wattage at the beginning when he when he started up so um, if you are trying to run a fridge or any kind of appliance that has a surge at, a surge at um, when it starts up uh, you probably need to like at least quadruple the wattage um, that it actually uh, says it requires and even with even this 400 watt inverter um, seems to kind of struggle to get to get the fridge the compressor started up so that's just one thing I would look out for and then as far as this panel goes um, so you got the electricity coming up the main coming up into my fuse box and then I, I just use the uh, automotive fuses to power the lights the sockets and then um, and yeah all the receptacles uh, this so I'm using I know it's not really um, per NEC code but I decided I was just going to use the the white wires as hot wires and then I was going to use the, I decided to use the black wires as the negative for the ground and then um so that so that all feels, feeds into my bus the negatives and grounds feed into my bus bar and then that goes back to my negative terminal and then also um it goes in into the ground right here. I got like a lightning, a, a three foot lightning rod that I pounded in, um, or not a lightning rod, but you know, like the ground, the grounding spike. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole system. It's been working really well. Uh, the 400 watt panels uh, basically run run this mini fridge the whole time, and it never drains. Like I started off with full battery, and then it's only 10:30 in the morning right now, and uh, so like yesterday, when the sun went down, I was at I was at full, and then when I woke, when I woke up this morning, it was down at uh, pretty much at like 90 percent, and then by around two o'clock today, this will probably be all the way up at full. So um, really, with this these 400 watt panels and running a mini fridge and lights and phones and stuff it barely even puts a dent in it uh, so it actually works better than I expected I expected to kind of throughout the day or you know the night using the fridge to get get it down here and then bump it up but but yeah barely it barely um, puts a dent in my battery bank so I could I could run more things off this and still replenish um, throughout the day with the panels I'm pretty sure and yeah that's about it so I hope Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like if you have a question or a comp, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. And uh, yeah, hope you liked it.